Just like new To relax my mind so I can be free And absorb the sound that keep me round Doing my thing constantly with no worries Peace to keep merry So far we have seen how electric charge is moving in constant magnetic field experience a force. That is not the only way to make charges move in some direction. We can also change the magnetic field and this will lead us to the concept of induction. In short, Faraday's law of induction says that their the changing magnetic field will produce uh, electromotic force. So let's first write out the uh, Faraday's law. E is something called the electromotive force, EMF. In fact, uh, it is a voltage that is electric potential, but the word means that it is a force that moves electrons. And in simplicity, it looks like this. It is the time derivative of magnetic flux and the negative sign. We'll just get back to the negative sign in just a second. But first, let's have a look. What does this electric flux mean? I mean magnetic flux. We already talked about electric flux, which was defined as the electric field and dot product of some directional vector. For example, a vector of a, of a plane surface. In the same manner, the uh, magnetic flux is defined as the dot product of the magnetic field and some directional vector. We can illustrate this com uh, concept by having a conducting loop in a magnetic field. So this would be the directional vector of the plane of the loop. And let's say we have some kind of magnetic field that flows through the, through the coil in such a way. So here we have B. And there might be some angle alpha between the two, two directions. So in that case, the dot product means that we want to pick the component parallel to the directional vector A, so component of the magnetic field. So that would be B times cosine of the angle between the two directions and then the magnitude of A. Now the Faraday's law says that if the magnetic flux through this coil changes as a function of time, then there will be some force that will move the uh, electrons around this ring. So effectively, effectively we are cre creating a current. The minus sign here tells us what is the direction of the current and in fact uh, this minus sign is also known as the Lenz law which states that the induced electromotive force or current is always in direction that opposes the original change in flux that causes it. So uh, let's have a simple example. What does this mean in practice? Here we have a coil in the plane of the screen. And to start with, there is no magnetic field. And then we switch the magnetic field on. So let's put it in this direction that it points out from the screen. So suddenly we have these field lines going through the, through the coil, which means that we have some electric flux. B, the uh, 
magnitude of the elect or magnetic field times area and then some angle between the two vectors in this case the cosine term or the angle would be zero so cosine term would be only one and this is always the case when the magnetic field and the area are perpendicular anyway so we have some magnetic flux that is increasing and Faraday's law says that now that the electric flux is changing, there must be some electromotic force that will move electrons around this coil. And what is the direction of the current? Like I said, the uh, direction of the current is always such that it will produce a magnetic field of its own that will try to counteract the changing magnetic field. So in other words, when we suddenly experience an increasing magnetic flux pointing out from the screen, the coil tries to produce a magnetic field of its own in the opposite direction. And how does it do it? According to the right-hand rule, if we point our thumb into the screen, the direction of the current would be clockwise and this current will run on all the time until the uh, external field stops increasing at the moment that it uh, achieves a steady state value there is no change for this coil to fight against again no change in the external field no current but when we have a change in the uh, external field one way or the other there will be a current that will try to create a magnetic field of its own that opposes the uh, external field well, let's continue as this example so we have this same coil and there's magnetic field that has now reached a steady state value so it has these field lines going through it and because the field doesn't change, there is no current in the coil. But then we switch the field off and we start to decrease the amount of magnetic flux that goes through the coil. Again, the coil doesn't like change, like the nature in general. It tries to resist the change by going back to the uh, status quo, which was some flux going through the coil from the screen. So in this case, in fact, when the external field, field is decreasing, the coil will try to make a field of its own to upkeep the steady state value. So in this case, there would be, according to the right-hand rule, there would be current in the opposite direction. So this induced current tries to maintain the field, the external field, that is now diminishing. Changing the magnitude of the magnetic field is not the only way to change the flux and thus induce current in a loop. If you look at this expression for magnetic flux, in addition to magnetic field, we also have the area of the loop. So in fact, by changing the area of the loop from let's say a smaller one into a larger one has the same effect that the flux through the loop will change because there is a more surface area. We can also change the orientation of the coil. So let's have a look at the coil from, from the side. So here we have the magnetic fields like this. In this case, let's have the field be pointing out from the screen. So uh, we're looking at this coil from, from the right. So the coil would look something like this. And the effective area that is creating the flux is the whole area of the of the coil in this case 
the whole surface is perpendicular to the magnetic field B. But then, if we rotate the coil by, by some angle alpha, the effective area is only the one